Hello everyone and welcome back to Conversation Wave. Today we are going to be talking about the Big Bang Theory and the uh, loopholes that are in the Big Bang Theory. So let's just get straight into it. So I've, the Big Bang Theory is something that I have been taught a lot in schools and has been taught a lot in the world. In fact, people see the Big Bang Theory as fact. They use that as a catapult to say why God doesn't exist. Well, if you want to talk about something that's a theory and trying to treat it as fact, at least trying to make the theory a little bit more concrete. But in fact, there are a lot of, of loopholes in the Big Bang Theory. So I'm just going to break it down and tell you why it does not make sense that the world was created by a Big Bang. So scientists say that uh, the Big Bang started about 4.6 billion years ago or 13 billion years ago. None of them can be sure about it. None of them can be accurate. But they're saying between 4.6 and 13 billion years ago, two atoms came together and just smacked together and just... Uh, uh, a big bang got created it created stars it created the world it created the, the earth and it created uh well basically they were it started out as stars and then the earth and then there were like the moon wasn't even there yet it was just the earth and uh, obviously there was gas particle running around right the earth was um the earth was engulfed in um in the lava and um, basically, this is the first loophole right there because they basically want you to believe that everything was started out of nothing. Okay, that is not believable. It's not even scientifically believable because scientists say nothing can start out of nothing. Everybody knows for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You hear scientists say that a lot. Yet they believe they want you to believe that the world started poof out of nothing. Uh, mistake number two that I found was there was a, a lot of explosions in those uh, in that atmosphere in the time. You know, um, gas particles and um, and stars kept on exploding, 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 and then suddenly one day a star exploded and then became our sun, right? And that gas took about 99 percent of the gases and dust around and left about 0.10 percent of gravity. Yet there was still yet there was still lava around the Earth. On Earth. There was still lava on Earth, and everything used to be floating accordingly and nicely before the the sun came about and left the gravity on Earth. But yet it left zero point one percent of gravity, and everything kept on going the same. So nothing changed. Everything kept on going on Earth the same, even though ninety nine point nine percent of gravity was taken out of Earth and it surrounded everything on Earth remained the same. Okay. And number two, they're saying there's a what. This is the loophole that, number one, I'm going to be talking about because I'm going to be coming back onto it, okay? So they're saying that there's an asteroid that came from the, um, from the, uh, from space, a smack onto Earth. For anybody who don't know what an asteroid is, it's most like a big spatial rock. So a big spatial rock came and smashed onto Earth and it went out on the other side, created the debris. So it, it went in Earth through the core through everything and out on the other side that's what they're saying and it created uh, a debris the debris then formed and became our moon i am not making this up it's actually in the big man theory so they're saying the big man didn't, didn't create the moon the asteroid and the um what's it called the um the debris of the asteroid hitting the earth is what created the moon and then all of a sudden the, uh, the earth decided you know what I'm tired of running, of turning around the sun axis. I'm tired of my hours being six hours constantly. I'm going to start rotating around the moon, you know. And they're saying once the Earth starts rotating around the moon, that's when everything started going accordingly, you know. Because when the Earth started going around the moon, it started moving slower. It wasn't moving faster anymore. And then all of a sudden, the Earth decided to create a, a, um, a uh, ozone layer, you know, to protect itself from the sun ray. You know, now they're saying that the Earth fought for, him, uh, fought for himself. Okay, and there is a lot of loopholes I can go on to, okay? But, like, even the first four minutes of this already shows there are a lot of glaring arms about it, okay? So now they're saying everything started going accordingly, the Earth started cooling down, water got separated, um, sand became sand, water became water, and then there was bacterias honestly there was again they're creating something from out of nothing okay they're saying there was bacterias on earth right what created those bacterias what made the environmental f uh, good for the bacterias to survive on because we know bacterias die you know if the temperature is too hot 
they will burn to death. If it's too cold, they will freeze to death. So bacteria that what made the envir environment back then so perfect that they lived. And they didn't just live, they lived in water as well. Okay, so that's where bacteria came about. And then all of a sudden, I'm not kidding you, that bacteria became fishes. So the bacteria multiplied and then it became fish. Okay, and, and scientists believe that fish are actually our first ever ancestors. In fact, when I was reading it and I was researching it, um, I was watching a documentary and they, uh, there was a guy in the documentary who said, I can just imagine, you know, the first fish stepping out of water and taking the first air. And I was like, this guy is an absolute waste man. Why is that guy a waste man? Because if I take a fish out of water, yeah, a fish that can breathe underwater cannot breathe outside of water. At least I don't know about it. If you guys know any fishes that can, that can breathe under and outside of water, let me know. But I don't. So from my understanding, if I take a fish out of water, he will suffocate. Yet this man is saying that fish came out of water, that fish grew legs. They're saying fish, this, like, you know when fish have babies, yeah? They don't have it in a shell. You know, the moisture of the ocean kind of keeps their, um, like, it's like kind of like a, I don't know what the scientific word for it is, but it's kind of like when a frog has a baby. You know, like when a frog has a baby, it has it in water because the moisture is needed. Okay, and they were saying those fishes couldn't keep their babies alive because the moisture of the sea wasn't there anymore. So what did the fish decided to do? The fish decided to create a shell, right? To keep the moisture in. Guys, I am not making this up. Okay, there, there are a lot of loopholes in this theory alone. Okay, and they're teaching it to our kids. So we got to understand what, and they taught it to us as well. So we got to understand what we're learning. Okay, so that, so now there's this shell. So the fish who now became a lizard, you know, I, guys, this is ridiculous. And then a couple of years happened, a couple of years happened, a couple of years happened. And, uh, and then all of a sudden we have dinosaurs. Now, there was no back, according to what I know and according to what I researched, no bacteria made dinosaurs. They just kind of showed up. They figured, hey, well, it's our time, I guess. We're just going to show up. So they showed up and then they were ruling the earth for billions and billions and millions, not billions, millions and millions and millions of years. Okay. And then an, another asteroid came about and then it slammed on the earth again. Okay, now this is the loophole that make me say, because mm, I was watching it, yeah, and I was like, mm, this, is kind of, this is very interesting. And then the first report that said, wait, there's something that isn't consistent about this here. Okay. Obviously, I was a bit skeptical when, at the beginning, you know, and I was a bit skeptical at the, um, at the bacteria becoming fishes. But, you know, I was, I was willing to expand my, uh, my imagination for them. Okay, but when I, when I said hold on, pose was when the second asteroid hit the earth and there was no second moon. Guys, there's no second moon, there's only one moon. Okay, so the, the asteroid hit the earth, it creates a dust particle that then creates acid rain and kills everything that is big enough, like dinosaurs and like anything that's as big as a dinosaur, or as we know, dinosaurs are meant to be big. Okay, because Acid rain killed all the plants. All the plants, carnivores couldn't, I mean, herbivores couldn't eat the plants. So the herbivores died, and then the carnivores couldn't eat, eat the, can, the herbivore, herbivores because all of them died. So everyone started dying. Yet our ancestors still carried on living. I was like, what the heck? Like, we're strong, but we're not that strong. And mind you, we're just lizards, rodents, rats. That's what we were, we were rats around this time. You know, so we went from being fishes to lizards, and now we're rats. And then, <laughs> and then we become monkeys. <laughs> and then we become monkeys. Guys, we change our DNA. We change our biological DNA full time now. We were bacteria. We were, we were bacteria. We were fish. We were lizards. Now we're monkeys. Yeah. So now we're monkeys living in the trees, enjoying life, eating bananas, you know, fruits, berries, you know, just swinging about, acting like little kids. And then a grass attack came about. 
yeah, grass nearly killed our ancestors, man. So they say. So the uh, savannah, the um, the savannas of Africa, the uh, the prairies of uh, Americas, and the grasslands of Argentina nearly killed every primate around. But we still survived. We were still kicking it, you know. But there were some monkeys in the in the uh, trees who decided, you know what? We're gonna step down. We're going to step, and there's a loophole there, okay, and I'm going to tell you this loophole in a sec. So we're going to step down, yeah, and then we're going to start looking for food on the ground. Okay, so they were stepping down, they were walking about, yeah, and then one of them, and then they were like, ah, actually, you know, what? Those, those grasses are too big, we need to see above them. So that's when they decided to stand up in two feet. That's about uh, 200,000 years ago. Okay, no, 800,000 years ago, they decided to stand up in two, like, in two legs. Like with both legs to look so that they can look for predators and they can use their like five fingers, right? And then, yeah, honestly, guys, stay with me here. And then, yeah, they were like, okay, cool. We're gonna start using tools. Who came up with all those decisions? What, what king monkey was like, guys, I think we should start using tools. Guys, I think you lot should get off the trees. And, and like, oh, and when you get there, trying to survive by standing on two feet and you guys stay on the trees and stay monkeys. You know, well, who made the decision to be like, oh, I'm a fish. I don't want to be in water anymore. I'm going to step out of water. Oh, I'm a fish. I don't want to make bad, uh, uh, eggs without shells. I'm just going to magically create a shell. Now, who came up with it? How did they have the, the mental capacity to come up with it if their brains were still de developing? You get what I'm saying? And then, 200,000 years ago, something dropped in our throat and then we can talk. Now, that part made me laugh. Okay, honestly, this is the best two hours. I, watching that documentary was the best two hours of my life. Yeah, and then something dropped and then, and then we just started talking. Which is ridiculous because they were saying, oh, now we're using words to describe things. Like, oh, aunt, my auntie said there's a water hole over there. Oh, don't go over there. There's a lion. If I tell you there's a lion in French, I'm talking, that don't mean you will understand me. That's what scientists fail to, fail to understand. It's not because I can talk. It means I can, you can be understood. You get me? If someone who doesn't speak English right now and watching this video, he won't understand a single word I'm saying, but I'm still talking. You get what I'm saying? So there is a lot of loopholes in the Big Bang Theory. A lot of loopholes nobody's talking about. A lot of loopholes that we're just teaching children as facts. Let's remember, it's a theory. In fact, the Big Bang Theory started in 1922. Yeah? It started in 1922. Which means when the First World War started, there was no Big Bang Theory. Honestly, that recent ago. Yeah, we're learning it as facts. Guys. Honestly, this is a this is the conversations to be had. Okay, why are we teaching people the wrong thing, and why are we encouraging the wrong thing when there's nothing to prove that it is true? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, and by the way, next week we are going to be talking about uh, creation in the biblical world. Okay, in Genesis. Okay, because I believe. I believe that makes more sense and I believe that's what we should be teaching everyone. But if um, if you agree or disagree with what I just said today, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If if I could be wrong here, I could uh, I could be doing my research is wrong. I could have been uh, going online and researched it wrong. So if you've done better researches, let me know. Comment down below. Share this video. Okay, let people know as well. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye-bye. Like, subscribe, you know the thing. God bless you guys, man.